What's up guys, it's me Lady Taser. I'm back with another video. What I'm going to be doing is telling you how to install our mod list from scratch because Danny's video is completely and utterly useless. So what you want to do is ignore this video. <laughs> ignore Danny's video. It's uh, it's outdated, it's wrong. Do not do not follow this video. Okay? So all you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to Steam first and download Skyrim. Just download Skyrim. I suggest putting it on say an SSD, Steam library, Steam apps, come on, there we go, common, and Skyrim's there. Alright. Once that's installed in there, you're gonna add two more folders as you can see. So you do that by right clicking, go to new folder. And then name name it SSC mods like I've done. And then I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then you just make another one, make another folder by doing the same method, and you just name it SSC downloads. Alright, that's all you gotta do. And then you just bring up Vortex. Let's minimize all that for now. We're just setting, doing the setting up method first. So you just go to Vortex, you say, I want to manage Skyrim Special Edition, and it should manage it. But you need to tell Vortex where your new folders are. So you go to Settings, you go to Mods, and then you open this little white folder thing. And you go to that is in the wrong place, is it not? Yes, it is in the wrong place. Bear with me. Apologies. Steam library, Steam apps, common. SSD2 is where my high end folder is, which is here. You just click the mods folder, which is on the mods tab. And you say select folder. I'm not going to do anything because I don't need to do anything. And then you just do the, the same for the downloads as well. All right. And that's Vortex set up. Then you can go to our website. Ignore that. You go to our website, which is www.eso-ui.com. And you go to the Skyrim section, which is this. So depending on what your... PC has in it, so we suggest a 2080 for the high end, we suggest a 2060 for the micro. I wouldn't do the add-ons just yet because they're not ready. So depending on what your PC is, you can choose which or whatever you want to do. So all you're going to go to is just click on whatever you want, go all the way down, and then you just click this vortex collection, revision one, which is correct. And then you just add to Vortex and it should automatically go into Vortex and add it all into Vortex for you. There's the high end there and there's the Dynalod. I wouldn't suggest adding the Dynalod unless you've got a system like mine, which is a Ryzen 9 5900 and a 4090, so, <laughs> which can run this at like 60 FPS no problem at all so it's entirely up to you but yeah it shouldn't have any issues it shouldn't have any load order issues it's going to be at least uh, let's do this really quick it's going to be at least 200 gig a bit more than 200 gig what's that yeah 250 260 300 320 325 gig and you should be okay it is a lot of space, I know, but it is a lot of mods. It's 500 mods plus. All right, so that should should sort you out. Okay, you don't need to do SKSE. You don't need to do engine fixes. You don't need to do address library. It's all done through this collection. It's all done for you. All right, I'm going to. I've put a FAQ in the Discord, uh, Ulti's Discord. 
you should be able to join that from here if you go to contact nope if you go to no it's not there okay it should be here somewhere hold on bear with me there we go oh well <laughs> <laughs> if you go to ulti's youtube page or old twitter page it should be there uh, the discord should be there it shouldn't be that hard to find and it's an open discord anyway so if you type ultimate immersion it should come up on discord that's all i'm gonna do for today like, but like I said, ignore this. It's completely outdated. I'm going to maybe talk to Danny and see if he does another one. But when he does another one, it's it's just going to update again. So I've already done three now. So, yeah. <laughs> there we are. Oh, EMB, before I forget. So, the EMB, all you're going to do is you're going to go to embdev.com to get the... Well, I'll just show you to get the EMB binaries is what they're called so you need version 0 0.488 currently as of the 27th of March so you click this you scroll all the way down and you hit download once that downloads it should just take a few seconds five four three one, I'm gonna show a folder. Yeah, yeah there's the um, <laughs> EMV there. So I'm gonna open this with 7-zip, and then you're just gonna need the wrapper version. You're gonna need the EMB series, the two DDLs, the INI, and the other INI, and then that's it. That's all you're gonna need. And you need to shift all of those into your Skyrim folder which is here all right they just need to go in here which they are two ddls the any two and the other any wherever it is there it is and the EMB series folder which is there all right that's all you need to do with that and then you go back to our website our emb website and then you click the preset which is this one that'll download literally instantly show that in folder again i'm just going to open that with 7-zip you're going to select everything in there and those are just going to move into your skyrim folder as well it's just a preset it will overwrite where everything to our settings and make it look really really pretty all right it will ask you if you want to replace files just say yes but that should cover everything but if you have any questions, hit me up. I have no problem answering them. Enjoy the rest of your day, night, evening, whatever time zone it is. And thank you for watching.